Hello and welcome to MetLearn 360. Have you ever asked yourself how the bridge is being designed? Or have you ever asked yourself how the satellite is being designed? How about the lift crane? Or even the dam? How about the aeroplane and the design of the ship? So this introduces us to engineering mechanics. You are not going to learn how to design all these structures in this course, but the fundamentals you will learn here will help you to appreciate how these machines are designed. All right, so this is a list of recommended textbooks I would need you to get so that you can follow alongside with me. So let's start by defining what mechanics is. So mechanics is a branch of the physical sciences which deals with the conditions of rest or motion of bodies under the action of forces. What am I trying to say? So in simple terms, mechanics deals with the response of bodies to the action of forces. So that's all about mechanics for us. So in general, the subject of mechanics is subdivided into three main branches. And what are these branches? So it consists of the mechanics of rigid bodies, mechanics of deformable bodies, and mechanics of fluids. So these are the three main branches of mechanics. So now let's take mechanics of rigid bodies. Under mechanics of rigid bodies, we study the action of forces on bodies. We do not consider the material properties of the bodies. So we just look at the forces which are external to the body, but we don't go inside to look at the material properties. So we want to say that there are two subdivisions under mechanics of rigid bodies. So what are these divisions? So I have statics. So what is statics? So statics studies the action of forces on bodies in equilibrium. That is to say, those that are either at rest or move with a constant velocity. In other words, statics can also be defined as the mechanics of bodies with zero acceleration. Now, when we say zero acceleration, your acceleration will be zero either when you are at rest or you move with constant velocity. And when I want to study the mechanics of such bodies, then I want to say I am studying statics. Now, statics will go into dynamics where I will look at the action of forces on accelerated bodies. So without acceleration, I am dealing with statics. Once I am into acceleration, then I have dynamics. And so statics can be assumed as a special case of dynamics where acceleration is a zero. All right, let's look at dynamics further. So we said dynamics is actually further divided into kinetics and kinematics. All right. So kinematics actually deals with the motion of bodies without considering the forces producing the motion. Simply put, in kinematics, we do not actually consider the forces. However, in kinetics, so kinetics, on the other hand, studies the impact of forces in motion, forces on bodies in motion. Okay. Let's look at the second branch of mechanics, which is mechanics of deformable bodies. All right. So in the engineering curriculum, mechanics of deformable bodies is studied after rigid body mechanics since it lays the foundation for the subjects. Okay. Now, the opposite of a rigid body is a deformable body. You know, when you do not deform, it means you are rigid. However, these are actually idealizations. Alright, now the subject of mechanic, mechanics of deformable bodies is divided into three subdivisions. So mechanics of materials, which is also known as strength of materials. Then I have theory of elasticity and then theory of plasticity. So under mechanics of materials, we are looking at what we call the strength of materials. And then in other words, we study the internal deformations of material under stress conditions. So materials... Uh, mechanics of materials is answering the question, what is the strength of this material to withstand any force acting on it? And that's why we are looking at all the deformations happening inside the material. 
All right. Now, theory of elasticity is actually advanced mechanics of deformable bodies. And what we do is that we deal with bodies within the elastic limit where the applied stress is proportional to strength. So, once you apply stress to the body, the body may deform, but when you take the force or the load away, the body will regain its shape. And we are saying that is theory of plasticity. So, applied stress will be proportional to strength. Now, on the continuity of elasticity becomes plasticity. That is to say, plasticity deals with bodies whose elastic limit has been exceeded. And for that matter, linearity does not apply. And so, for bodies whose undergo plastic deformation, it means they would actually deform permanently. That's what we are actually saying. The last branch is mechanics of fluid, which is also known as fluid mechanics. Now, fluid mechanics deals with the study of actions on force, uh, fluid flow. So whenever I have fluid, then I am looking at the, all the forces acting on the fluid as it flows, then I am interested in fluid mechanics. As a matter of fact, fluid mechanics can also be considered to be divided into fluid statics and fluid dynamics, just as really good mechanics. However, on a broad scale, I want to divide fluid mechanics into two main branches, which is compressible flow and then incompressible flow. Now, compressible flow has to do with flow where there is what significant density changes, and this is mostly associated with gas. However, incompressible flow mostly will be liquids such as water, where the density of the fluid remains constant or nearly constant during flow. Okay, so this is a summary of what we have been saying so far. Thank you for watching.